it's time for the Jubal Show's Summer On Demand. Here's your shot at a four-day, three-night vacation for two to any Sandals resort with locations in Jamaica, the Bahamas, and Curacao, including round-trip airfare for two on American Airlines. Your keyword is summer. That's summer. Enter the keyword at thejubalshow.com. First date follow-up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at advocateslaw.com. Joaquin is on the phone today for a first date follow-up, and he's getting ghosted by Stephanie. So we're going to see if we can help him out. Hey, Joaquin, before we get into the date and stuff, how long has it been since you talked to Stephanie? Uh, You know, it's been probably about four days, man. Okay. Okay, four days. That might not necessarily be a ghosting. No, not necessarily. So when was the last time you actually talked to her? Was it on the date or did you hit her up after? No, I mean, it was it was it was on the date. That's the last time I talked to her. And what was that interaction like? What did you guys say? Um, you know, she it, it, it ended where uh, she said that she would text me uh, when she got home and she she uh, she didn't. Mm. So that's just kind of, you know, what what happened there. Just like describe everything about the date. Yeah, describe it to us. Yeah, yeah. So I met her on Tinder, and uh, you know we had a great time. You know the uh, you know the the chemistry was there. You know we had fun. You know we laughed. You know what I'm saying it was just a a good good feeling. And um, you know I, I me the way I am, you know I thought that I would you know impress her. So <laughs> you know, that's that's kind of you know you, you hey, every guy does that right? You know I, I thought that. Um, you know, I show her around the city. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people. Um, I'm also like the co-owner of a club, you know, downtown. Mm. So, you know, that's that's kind of, you know, where where it is. Um, and so what we did was uh, took her to my buddy's bar. And uh, you know, as soon as I got in there, he, uh, you know, he owns that bar and everything. And as soon as we got in there, he, he gave us free drinks. Uh, some basic little bar food, you know, just, you know, the, the set there and everything. And, and we just talked and we clicked, you know, it was, it was just really a, a good, a good, good scenario, man. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm still just kind of, it's wild that I'm calling in even talking about this, but, um, so here's the thing. We left there and, you know, we kind of just kind of walked and talked and, you know, people watch, you know, that thing that you do, like, you know, on a, on a date. And, uh, so I said to her, I said, hey, listen, um, you know, do you want to go to, like, another hot spot? Because, you know, I, I know the chef there. And, he, and this chef that's there, I mean, this is a nice spot. I mean, it's really a cool spot. It's a, one of the hot spots in town, and he's been my friend since childhood. And um, so, you know, a lot of people try to get in there and everything. And I know people. So we go in, and as soon as we get in, you know, they seat us immediately, you know? So, I mean, you know, that's a place that people try to get into. And so, you know, we, we were in there. Um, we were, you know, talking about, you know, where we are in life and, you know, just, just other things, you know, talking about wanting to come home to someone, uh, you know, just be in a relationship or whatever, but, you know, something more, but like not too heavy, you know what I mean? Kind of keep it light. Um, and, you know, we, we also talked about how kind of like we were both too busy, uh, you know, for baggage and drama or whatever, you know, but mm. here's the thing. And this is where it really mixes me up. Um, after, after, you know, we ate and everything and, uh, after dinner, you know, I started to walk her to her car and she reached out to grab my hand, you know, like, you know, she initiated like reaching out, grabbing my hand. And, uh, so we holding hands and everything and I get her to her car and uh, she kissed me, you know, she kissed me good night. You know, she said she, you know, had a good time and that she would text me uh, when she got home. Like I said, that was four days ago. So you didn't follow up with her, though, just to be like, did you get home? OK, <laughs> yeah. you know, sometimes you forget because you're like, oh, my gosh, I had so much fun. I just washed my face. Night night. <laughs> you know, I did. I did send a, a, a text message. To OK, her, uh, but I didn't I didn't get anything. From her, you know, at just, all? you know, it's just like, okay, nothing at all. Okay. And I don't, you know, maybe she has a different phone than what I have because I can't see if she read it or whatever. I don't, I don't have her on Facebook or Instagram or anything. So I can't see if she read it or you know, nothing like that. It's weird, man. We'll try to figure it out for you, man. We'll play a song, come back and then call her and ask her why she's ghosting you and see if she'll tell us and see if you want another date after you hear why. Okay. All right, man. Thanks. All right, man. We'll play a song, come back, get your first day follow up next. First date follow up. 
powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at AdvocatesLaw.com. Joaquin is on the phone today for a first date follow-up, and we don't really even know if he's actually getting ghosted. But we're about to find out if he is uh, when we call Stephanie to see why she's ghosting him. But before we do that, Joaquin, why don't you refresh everybody's memory about your date with Stephanie? Yeah, so, hey, listen, I know people in the city, man, and uh, we we went out to a, a, you know, a friend of mine's bar. We had some drinks, and then I took her to another hot spot. Uh, you know, where, you know, mm-hmm. we were kind of treated like VIP and were seated immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she, she, you know, she reached out and grabbed my hand and as we walked as, at the end of the date and, and, uh, you know, she, you know, kissed me, you know, uh, good night, you know, and I just haven't heard from her for four days. And, you know, one thing I want to say is I can't stress enough how much we click, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the stories, uh, that I was talk, talking to her and telling her, I don't think it scared her away. Uh, I mean, it was good that somebody even gets me, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I just don't know. I really don't know what it is. And and then the hand reaching out and, and kissing me at the end of the night, that's a sign to me. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. she's beautiful. It was a positive sign and I'm drawn to her. So I, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I'm being ghosted. Well, we're about to call her. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Stephanie, please? This is Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? My name is Jubal, and I host a radio show. It's called The Jubal Show. Hi, Stephanie. The show's here, too. Oh, hi. That's Nina. Hi. I'm Nina. Oh, hi. wow. <laughs> hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm I'm great. I'm wondering what I why, why you're calling. <laughs> it sounds like you listen to the show. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do, yeah. Well, there's only a few options you have to choose from while we're calling, but we did get an email about you from someone who you're ghosting. Ghosting? That's, that's a strong word. Um, <laughs> His name is Joaquin. Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't think I was quite ghosting him. Okay. He told us it's been four ahead. days <clears throat> since your date, so it seems like, you know, we weren't sure if yeah. you were. No, I'm not like, okay, so I guess I'm just, Okay, I'm, I'm, I would assume that you guys already know how uh, how the date went. Um, we heard some things. Yeah. We heard that jo- Joaquin's pretty plugged in the city and took you to all of his friend's spots. <laughs> so you got VIP yeah. treatment. Yeah, and, and you could tell, but like, like not in a bad way. Like, everyone was super nice. We got treated super well. Um, that was great. Um, it's just that, okay, so... I get that he's like, he, he co-owns a club and everything. And that's totally cool. He's actually, so like at first I was a little worried cause I was like, okay, well he's going to be a sleaze bag, but he actually wasn't. He's super sweet and smart and very fun to talk to. And I felt like we had a lot in common, but for the first date, one of the places he took me was a burlesque club, Okay. which in and of itself is fine. Except it was a lot closer to like a total strip club. Like it was full nudity. Mm. And oh. I'm like, I can't really focus on you while I'm trying to tell whether that Brazilian is fresh or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, like, it looks pretty fresh. And, um, and I'm not like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, like, I'm not a prude, but I was just like, I really wasn't expecting that for a first date. It's yeah. an interesting first date spot. That is a, that's a choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, right. That's what I thought. I was like, man, this is a choice. This says a lot about, <clears throat> like, <and> again, <laughs> like, it was a fun show. I'm not saying it wasn't good. I'm just like, I can't really like focus on you when I got these <laughs> in my face. So, um, it is hard to do that, you know. Yeah, to yeah. really be into a conversation and in the moment when that's happening. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. That would throw me. I actually really don't know how I would feel about that. I don't mind being here, but it, was, it is a choice. It is. I wouldn't, from his perspective as a guy, I would not take a first date to that because I would assume that you would think that that's all I want or, right, right. you know what I mean? Like later, like later on when we know each other, maybe, but. Yeah. So like, even though I had a nice time and we clicked, like, I don't know. I just, I, when I got home, I was thinking about it and he texted me and I was like, and I know that's why he probably feels like I ghosted him. But I mean, I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking like, if you're so naive that you're going to take me to a strip club on our no, I mean, the full nudity strip club on our first date like I don't that just really made me question like what happens next <laughs> like huh. yeah like where do you go from here so yeah. you went from yeah are we going to a brothel <laughs> <laughs> I thought you ate dinner afterwards we, we did but and we had food there so like it was 
don't get me wrong, it was like overall it was nice, but I don't know. It just like makes you question. Wait, like I said, where does this go from here? I, I don't know. It, was just, it just threw me off. Yeah. Sure. All right. Well, guess you uh, probably forgot, or you did forget, or you didn't forget, and you were just waiting for the moment. But Joaquin <laughs> is on the phone. And we'll talk to you. Might have been a little yeah. bit of calling, a little calling. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey Stephanie, you know what? I um, yeah, it, it was just weird that that you uh, respond to me, uh, and maybe it was a dumb move uh, on my part. I, I mean, listen, I, I I just really thought that you know it would be a good vibe to go to like a sexy jazz club, and and I, I just wanted to you know <laughs> take you to a place to impress you. you know? They call it um, two different things. Yeah, 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 exactly. Sex, sexy jazz club, basically yeah, a strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I listened to my chef buddy. I, maybe I just shouldn't listen to him. It, I, I agree. I guess it was a dumb move on my part. You know, um, I, and I won't. If you didn't know it wasn't a dumb move on your part, if you thought it was a something else. I don't know that it was dumb. I think maybe you just should have given her a little bit of a heads up. I'm definitely not trying to yeah. be dumb. I'm, I'm, I, I, you're very smart. Mm-hmm. I'm literally already using one of the models that you told me about for like a new mm-hmm. project that I'm working on. So like, I'm not, I didn't mean to say yeah. that you're dumb. I, I, I didn't, yeah. I didn't mean to uh, come out that way. No, um, you know, listen, like I said, uh, I'm sorry. And, 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 you know, I want to take you out on a normal date. I guess what traditional normal is. I mean, normal for you guys now could be really interesting. <laughs> it could be anything. Yeah, you have a new normal. <laughs> Where you eat sushi off the body. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, you know, if, maybe if you agree, you know, maybe don't, we can just probably go to a Brazilian steakhouse instead. Maybe <laughs> <that's> <laughs> that's that's I'm just going to treat you there in you Brazilian. <laughs> well, I'm one of those Brazilians. <laughs> Stephanie, would you like to go out with Joaquin again? We'll pay for it. Whatever you guys do. Now I'm just interested to see what happens next. <laughs> You know, I appreciate your apology, and I know we all mess up. So, like, I'll tell you what. Yes, but you have to okay. take the next big step and take me to your club. Oh, okay. I want to okay. see it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go, go, dance. Yeah, then, we <laughs> <laughs> then we can go wherever from there. But I want to see it. You okay. talked about it so much. I, I want to see it for real, real. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, congratulations, Joaquin. You got another date. Yeah. And, Stephanie, that's cool that you're understanding like that. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Jubal's first date follow-up. Only on the new Hits 106.1. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorney. Online at advocateslaw.com.